Hello again, my beautiful yoga friends. This practice is a 30 minute gentle morning wake up flow. So the practice consists of more simple postures, nothing crazy, um, simple postures, simple movements, slow movements. Perfect if you've just rolled out of bed and you feel that you need to wake up your body. Um, I've also got Spotify playlists. So if you feel like listening to music during your class, then just check out the Spotify link in the description box down below and you can listen to music while you're waking up, while you're starting into your day. I will see you on the mat. Good morning. For our practice this morning, you will need a blanket and two blocks. Alternatively, you could also be using two big books. Come to your mat. And we'll start in child's pose. Your choice if you want to have the knees as wide as the mat or knees closer together. Reach the hands forward and sink the forehead to the mat. And connecting with your breath. You're breathing in and out of the nose in a slow and steady rhythm. No need to force the breath, but see if you can start to lengthen your breath. So breathing in a little fuller, a little longer. And breathing out in a slow way. On your next inhale, lift your head and walk your hands over to the right, coming into a side stretch. If you want, you can add the left hand on top of the right and sinking your torso down to the ground. Taking deep breath here. On your next inhale, lift your head, walk the hands into the center and over to the left side. Option to place the right hand on top of the left to intensify the side stretch. On your next inhale, lift your head, walk the hands into the center again. And then back towards you, coming to sitting on your heels, knees together now. Bring the hands to the heart. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms out. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up. And exhale, open the arms to the sides. Inhale, interlace the hands, reach the arms up. Exhale, release. Inhale. And exhale. Two more like this in your own rhythm of breath, using this simple movement to connect to your breath. Come into tabletop now and flowing through a few rounds of cat and cow. Again, connecting the simple movement to your own breath. See if you can slow down your breath, and thereby also slow down this movement. Moving with full awareness. And now you can find free movement. So any movement 
starting from cat and cow, that feels good in your body to wake up your spine, to wake up your whole body. Eventually come back to neutral. Inhale, reach your right hand up, look up. And exhale, thread the right arm over to the left side. Right shoulder, right side of the head come to the ground. And for this variation, keep your left hand pressing into the ground. So you can really feel the stretch on your right shoulder blade. The next inhale brings you up again, open to the right, exhale, release. And then changing sides, inhale, left hand up, look up, exhale, thread the arm through. Left shoulder, left side of the head, come to the ground, right hand stays on the mat, pressing the ground away. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release. Walk your hands forward. Lower the forehead to the ground for puppy pose. So hips are staying in line with the knees. Option here to bring the chin to the ground and look to the front if you are quite deep in the posture. Walk yourself back into child's pose. Take a few breaths here. Maybe rolling the head from side to side to release any tension from the neck. On your next inhale, slide yourself along the mat forward into Cobra. Exhale, come back into Child's Pose. And we're doing this two more times. So inhale as close to the mat as you can. Slide yourself forward, Cobra. Exhale, Child's Pose. Once more, inhale. And this time, exhale to downward facing dog. So tucking the toes under, lifting the hips up. And also here, if you want, find movement. Any movement that feels good in your body to wake up your body, especially your legs. Eventually arriving in stillness. On your next inhale, reach the right foot up. Exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Lower your left knee down, untuck your toes, coming into a low lunge. Keep your legs active. Arrive in the posture. And once you feel stable, bring your hands to the heart. Inhale, open your arms, gently arching back. 
and exhale, reversing the movement slightly round forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open, maybe sinking deeper into the hips. Exhale, round, coming a little out of the hips. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open, this time staying here for an extra breath. And then slowly release the hands back onto the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. Option to find movement again. Come to stillness. And we're switching sides. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Right knee down, untuck your toes. Making sure you keep your legs active. Once you feel stable in your low lunge, bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, open your arms, arch back. Exhale, slightly round forward. Continuing this movement in your own breath. And maybe also on every inhalation, sinking deeper into the hips. And on every exhalation, activating through the legs, pressing yourself out of the pose a little bit. Next time you're inhaling, stay in the opening, taking an extra breath here. And then release the hands to the ground. Step it back to your downward facing dog. And then walk your feet forward, arriving just behind your hands. Feet hip width distance apart. Stay in the forward fold, grabbing hold of the opposite elbows and swaying your torso from side to side. Come back to the center, release the hands, keep your knees slightly bent and then start to roll yourself up, vertebrae by vertebrae, the head comes last. Rolling your shoulders up and back and then bring your feet about as wide as the mat. Toes turning out, heels in, and then swing your arms from side to side. So your whole body is relaxed, your torso, your spine are twisting, and even your hips and your legs are incorporated in the movement. Maybe you're even lifting your heels off the ground. Come back to the center. Step your feet to the front of the mat. Feet together, big toes touching, heels slightly apart. Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, fold all the way forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lifting halfway, hands can be on the shins. Exhale, release forward again. 
Inhale, come up to standing with a straight spine. Reach the arms up. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, Ada Uttanasana, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to standing, arms up. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, fold all the way forward, Uttanasana. Inhale to Ada Uttanasana. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, come all the way up. Hands touch. Exhale, release. Last time, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, release. Adding on now. Right foot stays at the front. Step the left foot all the way back. Keep the left hand grounded. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Simple twist. Inhale here. And exhale, release the right hand to the ground. Taking your two blocks or your books now, placing them underneath your hands. Inhale, look front. Exhale, straighten your right leg, fold forward. Inhale, bend the leg again, look front. And exhale, fold. So deciding for yourself if you do need the blocks, on which height you need the blocks. You could also do this with hands on the ground. On the inhale, you're looking to the front. On the exhale, you're folding forward over the straight leg. This time, stay in the forward fold with your leg as straight as you can. Inhale, bend your right leg, look to the front. Exhale to plank. Inhale here. And exhale, lower your knees, chest and chin to the ground. Inhale, slide into cobra. And exhale, come into downward facing dog. Maybe you want to move the head a little to relax the neck. And using as many steps as you need, come again to the front of the mat. Bring the feet together. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to standing, arms up. And exhale, release. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Keeping now the left foot at the front. Stepping the right foot all the way back. Ground down through the right hand. Inhale, left arm up. Twist open to the left side now. Press the ground away with your right hand. If possible, look up to the ceiling. Inhale here. And exhale, release. Option again to take the blocks or the books. Inhale, look front. And exhale, fold over the straight leg. Continuing in your own breath. 
Also here, focus on slowing down the breath, slowing down the movement, breathing and moving with full awareness. Next time your leg is straight, you're in the forward fold, stay here. Inhale, come to the front again. Exhale, plank. Inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale to Cobra. And exhale, Down Dog. Deep, steady breath. Inhale, reach the right foot up. And exhale, bring the knee forward over to the right wrist for pigeon pose. So the foot comes out to the left side. And then you want to check that you have your left leg and the foot in one line behind you. If your hip is hovering above the ground, you can place a blanket or a pillow underneath the right side of your hip, making sure that your hips are squared. And then walk the hands closer in towards you. Staying in this upright posture, maybe walking the hands a little more out to the sides. Inhale here. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, release forward. Dynamic movement. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. Once more, inhale up. Exhale down. This time walking the hands forward, maybe staying on the forearms, maybe bringing the forehead to the ground, coming to your depth of this forward fold. On your next inhale, lift your head again, walk the hands in. Remove any props. And then transition back into downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, come forward into pigeon pose. Again, set yourself up. Option to use props again, maybe placing a blanket or a pillow underneath your left hip. Checking that your right leg is long and straight behind you. And staying in the upright posture first. Hips are squared, walking the hands a little wider. Inhale here, exhale, start to fold forward. So every inhalation you're coming up, you're gently arching back. And every exhalation you're rolling yourself forward and down again. Do this once more. And then arrive in the forward fold, letting your torso sink towards the ground.
On your next inhale, lift the head, walk the hands in. Move any props to the side. And come back into downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, lower your knees, chest and chin to the ground. Inhale to cobra. And exhale, push yourself back into child's pose. Take a few breaths here. Come back into tabletop, repeating puppy pose. So option to place the forehead on the ground or the chin to the ground. Trying to sink the chest closer towards the mat. Slide yourself back into child's pose now. Bringing the hands back towards the feet, palms facing up to find relaxation across the shoulders and the arms. If you want, you can roll your head from side to side, releasing any tension from the neck. Bring the hands forward again and slide yourself onto the belly. Extend your right arm out to the side, 90 degree angle. And turn your head over to the left. Pressing the left hand into the ground, roll yourself onto the right side of your body. Find a position for your legs that supports you in this posture. Also bend the top leg and place the foot behind you. You can keep the left hand in front of you on the ground or place the left hand behind you onto your back as well. If you want, you can close your eyes. Come out, roll yourself back onto the belly, turn the head to the other side and extend your left arm out. Straight away move over onto the left side of your body. Find a position for your legs that gives you stability. And see if you can move deeper into the posture by placing the right hand towards your back. Roll yourself back onto the belly. And reach your right hand forward. Roll yourself onto the back. And then decide for yourself if there is any last posture, any last movement that your body needs before coming into Shavasana. When you feel ready, extend your legs out, 
to the bottom corners of your mat. Feet fall out to the sides. Arms slightly away from the body with palms facing up. Your neck long. Or your eyes closed. Completely releasing the control of your breath now so that your breath returns back to its natural rhythm in and out of the nose. Allowing yourself to take this pause here in Shavasana before starting into your day. Giving your body the time to integrate the work that we've done so that you will leave this practice feeling energized, ready to start into your day. Your whole body is completely relaxed. All the muscles are soft. Your breath is calm. And your state of mind is peaceful. Taking in now a few deeper breaths, filling up your lungs, your chest and your belly. And then waking up your body again, starting with the hands and the feet, wrists and ankles. Moving the head from side to side. And then bring the feet together, interlace the hands, turn the palms out, reach the arms over the head. Inhale here, stretch. And exhale, release. Bend your legs in. And roll yourself onto your favorite side. With your eyes still closed, come into a seated posture. Sitting upright with your spine long, shoulders relaxing back and down, bringing awareness to your breath again. And join the hands together at the heart. Gently bow your head forward, chin to the chest. And when you feel ready, open your eyes again. Namaste. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining the practice, my beautiful yoga friends. I hope you feel that your body is awake now, your mind is awake, you're ready to start your day. And if you like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. And I will see you again next time. Namaste.